Hey, it's April 10th. That makes it Wednesday. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute. Today, I'm talking to you about security. So there was a good article posted by a friend of mine, Jonathan Purcell, on Facebook yesterday talking about Shodan, this uh, search engine that it's kind of a private search engine. You can use it in a limited basis. You can pay if you want to use it more. The reason that it's kind of on lockdown like that is because this search engine spiders things that Google does not, or at least says they don't. Um, they go out and they check for open wireless routers, um, different security um, passwords and things along those lines that you wouldn't necessarily expect to be A, hooked up to the internet and definitely not using a default password in order to access these administrative features. Uh, it gets scary when they start talking about how there are nuclear reactors that are open for this, uh, heating and cooling systems for uh, government agencies and for private individuals, security cameras, a whole bunch of stuff out there. The scary part is not necessarily so much this search engine, it's the fact that people have set up these systems and are not aware of the security of them. Um, and that ties into me today because I run a number of client websites using a system called WordPress, which is a content management system. And there's login and passwords for the administrative side of these things. Well, it's well known what URLs those typically sit at. And hackers have been trying to attack some of my clients' websites recently to the point where my web host, Liquid Web, uh, sent out an email this morning kind of explaining the situation and you know ways to go about resolving that. So, you know, today just wanted to kind of bring up this subject, get your feedback. What do you think? You know, there's the email, comments are right here, um, as far as different security issues. Now, one exciting thing I wanted to mention today is we've actually got our first sponsor, AccuTemp Refrigeration, here in Arizona. Local, family-run business for over 30 years. Bill and Kathy Murley and their kids run this, uh, it's a heating and cooling and refrigeration company, AC. You can imagine that's pretty important here in Arizona. And coming up, of course, we're getting into the warmer season. You will want to have your air conditioner checked just to make sure that it's working. They do a $65 tune-up. And the really cool thing I like about them, not only are they a sponsor of this show, but none of their technicians are commissioned. So this means when somebody comes out to work on or just look at your machine, right, for this tune-up, they are not there trying to sell something so that they can make money. That guy's gonna get paid, or gal, is gonna get paid regardless of if you purchase more services or not. Um, now, it might end up that they find there's problems with your AC machine, and then you might need to pay for some stuff. But um, the majority of, or a, quite a few number of air conditioning companies here in the Valley are commission-based technicians. You want to be aware of that. It's something to watch out for. Those people are motivated not to fix your machine, but to sell you either a new machine or new parts, regardless of if you might need them or not. Uh, just be aware of that. AccuTemp, here's their website. Uh, give them a call. There's the phone number. Let them know that you heard about them through Roger Williams Media Minute. They'd like to hear all that. Um, and, uh, you know, at least uh, give them a call, get a free consultation over the phone, um, you know, see what they can do for you. They do maintenance plans. They will obviously sell new units, but they also do refrigeration systems. They do a lot of commercial work, uh, especially for restaurants. So, you know, they can handle your walk-ins, your reach-ins, all that major equipment that uh, you definitely don't want failing but they also do residential AC and are pretty gosh darn good at it. Thank you, AccuTemp, for sponsoring the show, and uh, we look forward to hearing from them some more. Give them a call if you live here in Arizona, uh, especially Phoenix. Uh, they will be able to get you set up for the uh, warmer temperatures coming. So getting back onto the subject of security, um, an interesting point, uh, getting back to the sponsor, AccuTemp, talked with Bill Murley yesterday about there's a new a uh, thermostat system that they're installing called Ecobee. Now you might have heard of Nest. That's by a former designer um, from Apple. They created a intelligent thermostat system. 
uh, that you can control with your iPhone and stuff. Well, Ecobee is a competing product, and um, from the reviews I've read online, they, it sounds like it's a little bit better product than the Nest. But uh, regardless of that, these are um, internet-connected devices, and they do have default passwords to them, and you need to be aware of this when you're installing it. So, you know, I asked Bill about, you know, in, in reference to the Shodan story, where a whole bunch of networks were being found that had default passwords on them. He says it's absolutely something that he brings up to his clients, uh, informing them of this, it walks them through changing the passwords before they leave, and explains to them what's happening with these new systems. Uh, and so it's really important that you understand as we get into more and more devices in our homes, in our cars, obviously our computers and phones, these things are all connected onto the internet and hackers know where to go to log into these things. And if you've got a default password set up, you know, they're gonna be able to put that in quickly, have access to your system, do Lord knows what. Now, for the most part, hackers so far are just focused on uh, money and stealing things. Uh, but, you know, we get into the more nefarious people who want to, you know, screw with the temperature control, start screwing with nuclear reactors. It's going to get pretty ugly. So just be aware of that. Uh, from a website perspective, you know, I recommend using a system called 1Password. It's a piece of software divided, uh, developed by Agile Software. Um, and this thing's pretty cool. You have one master password that you create, you have to memorize that thing. And then once you have that, you have access to your system and it stores all your logins and passwords for different websites, um, anything that you're using that's got a password. Now the cool thing with 1Password is it has an automatic password generator. So you can automatically create a 30 character password that's just, you look at it and it's total gibberish. Well. Uh, the cool thing is now that's being used for your Google account, for your Facebook account, but you can have a different one for each one that's just as long, just as hard to memorize. And the advantage with that is now when someone tries to do a brute force attack onto those websites using your login, they're not going to be able to get there for hundreds if not thousands of years just because of the way that hacking systems work. Uh, I recommend 1Password. I use it myself. I recommend it to all my clients. Uh, when it comes to having your WordPress site, there are a couple of different security plugins out there. There are also things you can do on the .ht access level and things you can do on your server level to prevent the number of times someone tries to log in from a certain IP address um, to changing the URL that your WordPress login is on. These are all things that you definitely want to be aware of. Uh, though, you know, if you're running a company and your website's out there and somebody hacks into it, that's really just, it's a total pain in the butt that you're not going to want to have to deal with. So get ahead of it, get your security set up correctly now, avoid those headaches in the future, and, you know, keep rocking on. Tomorrow's Thursday. This has been an exceptionally long podcast. I hope you're bearing with me. Uh, I went a little more casual with the t-shirt. Give me some feedback. There's the email. Comments are down below. I will see you tomorrow. Rock and roll.